breaking news right now from Oakland County where we are learning that longtime county executive L. Brooks Patterson has passed away. In March, he announced that he was diagnosed with stage four cancer. He served as the Oakland County prosecutors for 16 years until he was elected as county executive in 1992. This morning, we are remembering the longtime county executive. Everybody in this room has heard me brag about Oakland, but I mean everything I say, it's a beautiful county. The citizens, we have this special relationship. It was a relationship he fostered for decades. Lewis Brooks Patterson first rose to prominence as a local attorney. A 1972 fight over forced busing put him in the national spotlight and propelled him into the Oakland County Prosecutor's Office. This was just not an isolated bond hearing off here someplace in, in space. The public in this state is fed up with the obvious level of violence. He was a brash, bold, law and order conservative. Patterson fought to shut down porn shops and launched a petition drive to bring back the death penalty. All the headlines fueled a run for governor in 1982, but a campaign stop up north would keep his political ego in check. Had the big old marquee out front and says, Welcome, L. Brick Peterson. <laughs> I told my staff, I think we've got a lot of work to do up here. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. A day shy of his 50th birthday in 1989, Patterson left the prosecutor's office after 16 years. And I'll miss the job, but I'll miss the people too, very much. But he didn't stay away for long. Three years later, he ran for the county's top job. We all knew you'd be back, Brooks. We all knew you'd be back. <laughs> and what a comeback. Patterson went on to win seven remarkable terms, partly because he was a fierce competitor. There's a rule in his hand out here that yeah. says you're not supposed to do that. But mostly because voters liked the way he ran one of the most affluent counties in the country. His legacy includes a list of programs to diversify the economy, attract investment, and create jobs. And that's five billion of new investment just within the emerging sectors portion of our economy since 2004. In 1998, he also founded one of the most popular festivals in Metro Detroit. And I can assure you that you'll hear more about this in the event that we are calling, believe it or not, Arts, Beats, and Eats. <laughs> But all of his success did not come without controversy. Patterson often found himself at odds with Detroit, the city where he was born, grew up, and went to law school after serving in the Army. Some of his off-the-cuff comments were polarizing and sparked legendary feuds. We have asked for a public apology from uh, Mr. Brooks Patterson. For them to try to find a, a, a racial uh, component is a reach. Mr. Bolger? No, I don't. Uh, I, look at it. Look, I well, isn't that a little over the top? Mr. Yeah, I want it to be. Thank you very much. He celebrated great triumphs, but also mourned heartbreaking tragedy. The loss of his son, Brooks Stewart, in a 2007 snowmobile accident had a profound impact. Five years later, the executive would have his own brush with death. There's a, a, an accident, a bad accident up here at this corner. Oh, Jesus. It was Patterson and his driver hit head on. Doctors told his family to brace for the worst. We all knew that you weren't going to make it. You, the medical staff gave you a 3% chance of survival. 3%. But he battled his way back against those odds and became a powerful opponent in the fight to change Michigan's no-fault auto insurance. People taken off uh, this kind of catastrophic care, uh, eventually have to go into their own pocket. Nobody can afford. L. Brooks also touched thousands of lives through charity work. <laughs> he founded the annual Brooksy Way Half Marathon to honor the memory of his son. A golf outing to remember friends killed in a plane crash evolved into the Rainbow Connection. Over the years, casual day donations at county offices raised nearly a million dollars for deserving organizations. This is a tough one. Um, I'm in treatment now. With all the ups and downs of his public life, Patterson took stock as he revealed his cancer diagnosis. Would he have done anything different? In a career sense, probably not. Uh, I'm lucky enough to have two beautiful jobs. But after a lifetime of big accomplishments, there was one he held closest to his heart. Now, of all the things I've done, I think I've done well. well I was a good father, and that's corny, but it's true. 
I've been blessed. I really am. Now, in a statement just released on behalf of his family, his daughter, Mary Warner, said that our dad was a courageous fighter all his life, and he fought right up until the end. Our family is grieving over the unimaginable loss of our father, grandfather, hero, and friend. Many will remember him for his impact on Michigan and generosity toward Oakland County. We will remember him for his love and generosity towards his family and friends. Again, if you're just joining us, L. Brooks Patterson has passed away. It was back in March that he announced that he was diagnosed with stage four pancreatic cancer. Again, we are just getting the news that at 530 this morning, he passed away at his home in Independence Township. Of course, we'll stay on top of this breaking story throughout the day on air and online.